guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking through the final Pleasant Company magazine that I have in my collection thus far. We are going to be looking through the winter catalog from 1999. I have had this catalog for I think a month now and I have not opened it yet because I've been waiting to film this video. So I'm so excited to finally be looking through this. I'm hoping that we see some new pieces that we haven't maybe seen yet but who knows, we might not. I don't know how often they came out with new stuff back then, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Here is the opening page of the catalog. I'm so obsessed with this pajama set. Honestly, I want it so bad, but let's dive right in. So the opening page, we have all of the girlies in their pajamas. Number four looks so cute. She is so stinking cute. And then we just have a page talking about the American Girl places. Next, we have the American Girls Collection page. We still have the same six dolls that we've been seeing. Felicity, Josefina, Kirsten, Addie, Samantha, and Molly. We have all of their books for sale and beautiful Samantha in the middle. We have the full spread of Felicity. So, so pretty. We have Felicity's school story right here. Her beautiful little desk her accessories for it and then we have her winter story outfit we have not seen this one yet and i'm super excited to see what it looks like i love this little lantern i have a couple lanterns in my room that are old gas lanterns but they're they're not real they don't work anymore but i think they look so beautiful i love antiques so that is so pretty her little trunk and cape is so beautiful as well one of my brother's high school girlfriends actually had Felicity and this dress, and she let me borrow her Pleasant Company Felicity doll for a little bit, and it was so cool to have her. I didn't understand what it meant back then because it was, it was so long ago, but looking back on it now, it was really special. Next, we have Felicity's birthday story. We have her beautiful, beautiful table and chairs and all of the accessories it comes with. So much detail, it's so beautiful. And then we have like her bedtime stuff and then her extra outfits that she has as well. I don't remember if I've said this in past uh, look throughs, but I always thought this was a pirate hat and I thought that she was a pirate. So, but it's, that's not what it is. It's her horseback riding stuff. But as a kid, I thought her and Elizabeth were pirates. Next we have Josefina, her beautiful little outfit. I love her accessories. I love them so much. We have Josefina's school story. I've said this a thousand times, but I love this bag. It is so pretty. This outfit is just beautiful too. This looks like it was new back in 1999, but we have Josefina's winter story. I remember seeing this actually when I first got Josefina back in like 2009 or 2010, but they did have this back then. This, this is her Adobe oven and bread set. It's got all this beautiful stuff just it's so detailed it is so spot on i love this i did not know what it was called and down here it actually has like an explanation behind it and the pronunciation so it's called a serape if i am mispronouncing that i am so sorry please correct me if i am wrong but i think it's so beautiful and then we have her birthday story it says this is new but i'm like 99 percent sure that we have seen all this stuff before maybe not i love all of this stuff though this little vase of flowers is absolutely beautiful i love these cups too and then her weaving loom i if you guys remember i was shocked at how cheap this was <laughs> then we have her nighttime stuff so beautiful next we have kirsten larson her beautiful full spread page we have Kirsten's school story with all of her school accessories. And then her winter story outfit is so, so beautiful. This outfit is ridiculously expensive now. I've seen it a million times just on resale sites. I don't actually plan on buying it, but I love this bag. It is so beautiful. I want a bag like that for myself, honestly. But I just, I love the little sweater. It's so cute. And her snowshoes, I love that. Have you guys ever been snowshoeing before? Let me know. I have. We have her birthday story. I always giggle at her hair. It looks pretty rough, but it's okay. We have her table and chairs, her little kitties, and then the food. So pretty, so detailed. I saw this for sale somewhere too recently, actually. I, I thought it was fake, but that that's real. That's actually hers. We have Kirsten's treasures and collections. Somebody actually finally informed me why this stuff is blue. So thank you. I. 
can't remember off the top of my head who said something, but I greatly appreciate being finally educated on more about Kirsten. I have always had so many questions about her, but I've never actually done the research myself. Next, we have my girl, Addie. She's so pretty. I love her hair. My Addie's hair falls out so bad, and I wish she had full hair like that still. You have Addie's school story. Love all of this stuff. So, so beautiful. I have the newer version of her lunch pail. I wish I had her school dress and all these other beautiful items she has in her collection. Then here is Addie's winter story. She has her sled. I thought it was a toboggan, but it's that's obviously not. It's called a cutter sled. She has her mancala and what is this called? Oh, it's a Sansa. I did, that was not what I was thinking of. I don't know what I was thinking of, but still. She has all of these beautiful accessories and her cute little winter coat and her hat. I love it. And that looks like a hat box. I love hat boxes. I have two myself. And then we have her birthday story. I love all of this stuff. And I just now noticing that this is a little banner from 1865. And it says, my heart is glad my country is free. And that is very, very cute. Then we have her bed and her extra outfits here. I saw somebody selling this for so much money and I wanted it, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Someday when I'm not working a minimum wage job, I will be able to afford all this Addy stuff. Next, we have Samantha Parkington. We have her school story. I love all of these little accessories. They are so beautiful. We have Samantha's winter story. She has her little ice skates. Those are so pretty. And all of this just fancy schmancy stuff i love this i actually have one of these i don't remember what they're called but like the oh it's a muff that's what they're called a muff i have a cape for my dolls it's off brand but it came with one of those and i have it and i think it's cute then we have samantha's birthday story her beautiful table and chairs her ice cream maker it seems like they carry this in a lot of the dolls collections just for fun and then we have her bedroom set and we also have the little inserts in the middle of the magazine again nothing too crazy going on here we have her pjs and then her extra outfits as well and then we have molly i just watched the molly movie with my boyfriend yesterday that is why molly is in her miss victory outfit so i'm excited to see what they have here as well they have her school set, so beautiful. I love that they actually have the book bag in the movie. It is so incredibly awesome, I love it. Then we have her winter story, her super cute raincoat. I love the raincoat, it's so cute. There's so much cute stuff in this. I really need to get more of Molly's collection as well. And we have her birthday story. This stuff is all very familiar to all of you, I'm sure, because it is out on American Girl's website right now, actually. I wanna know also, do you guys prefer molly's old table and chairs like this or the new newer red one that they have in the movie and that they sold on american girl for a while personally i prefer the red one then we have her bedroom stuff super cute super beautiful love that this is actually a part of the movie too i'm kind of curious why so they have these little smaller pictures i think this is what comes in her starter collection but they have them for most of the dolls and like, why wouldn't Molly's Christmas dress be in like the winter catalog? You know what I mean? This is like Samantha's cranberry party dress, it says. And like, you would think that it would be in here since it is a winter catalog, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Here is the Miss Victory costume. So, so cute. I don't have the Pleasant Company version. Mine is newer. I don't know what year off the top of my head, but now it's called her like tap outfit. And back then it was called the Miss Victory costume. So interesting. We have all of the scenes and settings once again. Then we have these special edition outfits. I love Addie's stilting outfit. I can't get over her beautiful hair in this. And I also love Kirsten's little bundled up coat and her ice skates as well. Molly's tennis outfit. I also saw someone posting pictures of this outfit with Samantha on Facebook. I think it was yesterday. And I think she said that she almost sold this outfit and it was literally a special edition one. So I'm really glad that she didn't. <laughs> this is called the special little extras page. It just looks like some books and some little accessories that you could get. Doll care and keeping. We have the dress form, the doll stand, travel set, hairdo set, hair care set, hangers, doll glasses, and doll skincare kit. 
I was not aware that that existed. Then we have the beautiful Dress Like Your Doll. Oh, so, so cute. I want these outfits. For springtime fun, we have more of the Dress Like Your Dolls outfits. These seem to be all of the pajamas. Oh my gosh, you could actually get the necklaces and stuff too. Oh, then we have the beautiful girl of today spread. This looks terrifying with this like reflection right now. I'll just hold it like this for the time being so you can see it better. If you guys watched two videos ago, you will have seen that I finally got this and I'm so happy I did. So this is called a lunchbox purse. I'm just going to use it as a purse, but it is so, so cute. It came with the Girl of Today accessories. Then we have the Girl of Today spread, all of the beautiful girlies. It looks like we haven't got any new dolls since the last magazine that we looked at. And the same spread, the school sports and scouts spread. I'm thinking about getting this soccer outfit, believe it or not. I'm not sure. I kind of want my doll Ferris. She is my custom Gabriella doll. I want her to be a soccer player, but I can't decide if I want to get this soccer outfit or one of the like inner star U ones or just the more recent ones, I guess. I'll have to poke around and see which one I like the best, but I'm definitely going to be getting a soccer outfit. And I'm also considering getting this cheer outfit. None of my dolls are cheerleaders. Let me hold it up so you can see it better. But I'm obsessed with this. I think it is so cute. It is so retro. And I think my mom would really appreciate it. She was a cheerleader in high school and her school colors were actually the colors on this uniform. So I feel like she would appreciate it. I also got this jumper piece, just the dress part of it, not the shirt or the tights or the shoes or anything, but it is such a great piece. I'm so glad that I finally have my hands on it. Next, we have like the outdoorsy stuff. I will always want this croquet set. It is so beautiful. My dream outfit, the Earth Day outfit. It is so pretty. I really want this shirt too. There's actually a seller on Etsy who makes these shirts and the shirts that say proud to be an American girl. She makes doll sized ones and human sized ones. I will try to remember to link her Etsy down below because they are so cute and someday I will have one to match my doll. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because these shirts are kind of hard to come by. We have this beautiful outfit. I love this outfit. I'm sure someday I will have it just because it is very pretty. Next, we have the Winter Wonderland page. All of this stuff looks new. Okay, let's start over here. So this is the terrific tubing outfit. It comes, I, I see this for sale a lot actually. The beautiful coat, the tube. This is just so like 90s, 2000s, it's so cute. Then we have the dog sled outfit with the husky dog, the dog sled. So beautiful, so pretty. I love the dog sled. Then we have the skating star outfit. Mia would greatly appreciate if I bought this for her. She needs more ice skating outfits. And then we have the ski outfit. This looks so funny to me. I don't know why. I'm living for the glasses and just like the metallic like jumpsuit ski outfit. I don't know. And then this ski gear looks like she got hurt, but I do love this outfit. I see this for sale a lot. I love the sweater and like the little bandana. So beautiful. I'm so glad that this page is in this magazine. I'm actually really excited to see it. Oh, it even comes with a little thermos too. So here is that plaid robe. I love that set. So beautiful. This bed is my favorite. So cute. I have almost bought this American Girl doll size twister game multiple times and it is so, so cute. I love it so much. I see it for sale on eBay a lot actually and I feel like I need it, but like why do I need it, you know? And then this is a new PJ set. This is super cute. It has like a bunch of little letters and envelopes on it and these cute little bear slippers. Number four is rocking it. We have the phone, I love that. And then my favorite, all time favorite pajamas and then the locker. Then we have the dress like your American Girl doll page. We have the grin pins, the team AG jacket. I love, love, love that. Just so many cool pieces. Then we have the classic party kits page. I never really know what to look for on these. There's only the one spread, usually there's two. Then we have the Amelia thing. I still don't really know what's going on here, but somebody explain to me, please. Is this like a Diary of a Wimpy Kid type deal? I don't know. 
Then we have the Bitty Babies collection. This is the Bitty Baby that I have, not the exact one, but I have a newer version of her. I have her from, I believe, 2006. Then we have all of the cutesy little baby baby outfits. This is so cute. I love all of these. I saw this for sale and I didn't buy it, but I just love the little ears for Bitty Bear. I really need to get my Bitty Baby a new outfit. I actually just dressed her because I felt like she was being neglected. And then we have the bigger sets for Bitty Baby. This stuff is all so cute. The wicker items are beautiful. I love wicker. And then the little accessories you could get in the starter set. And then here is the back spread. Uh, there's like no address on here, so that's interesting. But this is the Valentine's Day outfit for Bitty Baby. This is so cute. And the little vest for Bitty Bear. And the little mailbox for the Valentine's is so, so cute. It even looks like it came with some crayons. It also looks like it came with some cards too as I'm reading this. So, so cute. So beautiful. This spread is so cute. Oh, she's even holding a little crayon. You can barely tell because it matches her dress, but so cute. That is the end of the 1999 winter catalog. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me looking through all three of the Pleasant Company magazines that I have. If you are interested in seeing any other American Girl doll catalog look-throughs, please let me know. I have almost every single catalog from about 2008 until 2014, I want to say. I do plan on doing a look-through of the first American Girl doll magazine I ever got. It was the holiday magazine from 2008 when I got my doll Mia. She's right there. But that magazine is very beat up because it is so old, but it's going to be really fun to look through and see everything. I love seeing items from like the late 2000s, early 2010s too, just because that was like my prime in AG era. So it's going to be really fun to look back on. But let me know if you guys want to see any other magazines besides that one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!